Hi everybody, this is Baron again with a let's play of Shadowrun. So in the last video I showed you a ghoul mission. So now we're taking the net next step and try ourselves at a matrix run. But before we can do that, we need to hire a decker since we are, you know, a shaman and a shaman can't, you know, enter the matrix. So I think here in this club there is a dagger so we have to go in here For, first we have to pay 150 new yen just to enter the club well and here is a female elf and we are going to hire her she charges 1120 new yen for a single run or 11,200 10 times the amount for you know permanent employment we can't afford that so it's just a single run. That's what's going going to be. But it's okay. We're going to use her now to earn the money to hire her permanently. There's a disturbance, a sudden disturbance up ahead. Impressive figures pass through the party crowd. Your first impression is that they are veteran shadowrunners. Then you see that they are wearing gang colors. They continue on down the street in an air of confidence, not bothering to harass those they pass. Gangs going pro, you doubt it. Shrugging, you continue your way. Okay. Now we have a decker, and uh, the second step is to upgrade our, you know, our cyber deck. We do that here. We buy a better, uh, better program, a better attack program, and I think we also have to upgrade our memory a little bit, and we should probably upgrade our storage as well. Storage is important. The more storage you have. The more files you can. What, the, what was that? This upgrade is at the maximum level our bot can handle. What a pity. Okay, can we upgrade memory? Yes. Okay, let's leave it at that. Yeah, the more storage you have, the more files you can. No, wait more files you can download uh, from a system. So we're going to a phone booth now, call a taxi and go to the Penumbra district, yes, of Incham. We are looking now for uh, another Mr. Johnson. find one here at the restaurant that's called the Big Rhino. So that restaurant specializes in orc gourmet dishes and is actually quite popular with those who can stomach dishes like live worms and sprouts. Okay, so we're not going to eat here, we just, you know, try to find a job. No, we don't want to kill ghouls, thank you very much. We just, you know, want to... No, we don't have a matrix run, please. Would that be possible somehow? No. No. We don't want to escort people out of companies. We do that later. No, you can keep your ghouls as well. Thank you very much. We already had fun with ghouls. No, I don't want to deliver a package. I hired a decker, I would like a matrix run. So, well, I'm going to take a break here till I'm able to, you know, procure us a matrix run, so hold on for a sec. Ah, now we do have a matrix run. A local retailer business is holding an informant an informant of mine. I have set up a team to acquire this person. I need you to crash their CPU as a distraction. Go do this now and return here for payment. 
Okay, it gets us 440 million, but that is just a side effect. So now we do have a job. See that the guy over there on the top of the screen? That's a troll. We're going to hire him later because we still need some muscle. So now we should go somewhere else. Ahead you see a man lying on the street. He seems to be hurt badly. The guy looks to you like he needs medical attention badly. So give him first aid. As you bend down to start first aid, the man's eye flash red and you catch a glint of fangs as he hisses at you. With supernatural agility he attacks, but is he a vampire or what? Well, whatever he was, he's dead now. So where the f- oh, here. So let's call a taxi and return to downtown Seattle, sure thing. Well. That's what you get for trying to help people, you know, we will get attacked. That actually sucks, okay. Let's use our elven girl here. Cyberspace, enter, passcode. So we're going to use um, our attack um, program and our deception program, and we're going to enter cyberspace here. See, the silver server, well, that is our cyberspace persona. And the system, I say. We go to the first module. Okay, our task is to crash the CPU. Rejected. Rejected. Oh, come on, really? Rejected. Okay. Well, then use brute force. Hit. Another hit, and we enter. Leave note. So that actually is the CPU, see? We probably can't sneak our way into the CPU. Yeah. But uh, I had to try it. Let's attack that as well. Evade it. Oh, okay. And another hit. That's why I bought uh, the attack program level 4, because with our level 3 program we probably would have missed quite often. Evaded. Another hit. Evaded. Well, we still miss quite often. Even with attack 4. And that's it, we crashed the CPU, no, we entered the CPU. Well, if we would now crash the system, we would uh, finish our quest, uh, the run would be complete, but then we would, lo we would lose our precious decor. And that would actually suck. As you can see, from the CPU you can go to every node in the system, so we're going to that node here. Because, you know, we want to steal data here. That's why we're here. To make money. Oh, come on. Then attack it. Hit. Another hit. And another hit. Well, the silver server actually has different attack modes, as you can see. But I don't know whether this they do it. Well, any difference? Oh, this is the financial data store. Green. Okay, I'll leave this note as well. Well, it would be better. You know, the, the, the data contained within a green note is not as you know delicate as the data contained within an orange note. And the data contained within a red note is would be even more uh, valuable. So let's see whether we find something more valuable here. Let's check out that node as well. We probably won't be able to sneak our way in here, you see. So I can show you the third attack. So you can score hits with all three at 
attack modes. I don't know whether there's a difference. But I I don't know, I think the lightning well, looks best. The shuriken is nice as well. And now we enter that as well. Management data store file. It's an orange node, so we're going to transfer some data here. But we're going to do so in the next video because we're out of time already. So, thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.